It's a monk hero, which means that he is trying to gobble up emblems between Drake Fong, also Wilbur, potentially Wukong. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Surf's up, bro. Today we're doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Tarlac. He's cruising with his luscious locks of tropical love. He's got 824 on his attack, 667 on his defense, and 1240 on his health. Statistically, that attack power, he's clearly gaining some weights. He's fighting some people. He's learning Krav Maga, chilling on the island. 824 is insanely high. 627, 1240, eh, not that great. Could work on his defense a little bit. He is an average speed. He's part of the Atlantis Heroes. He does give a bonus between 2, 3, 4, 5 in Heroes. Gain anywhere between 3% and 15% attack. Taking advantage of that Atlantis bonus. As far as his hero specials, all allies get 100% normal attack for 4 turns, stacks with similar effects up to a maximum of 160% normal attack. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 100,000 silver, and 1 free champion, Executioner. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. All allies regenerate 324 HP over 4 turns. He is a monk hero, which means that he is trying to gobble up emblems between Drake Fong, also Wilbur, potentially Wukong, and how could we forget classic hero June? So as far as his hero special goes, it's very important that you understand exactly how this works. So all allies getting 100% normal attack for 4 turns stacks with similar effects up to maximum of 160% normal damage. So what that means essentially is he is going to impact the board when it comes to your tiles. It is not going to impact the board with hero specials. So that's very important to notate. And also important to notate is that you don't want to use this hero in conjunction with heroes like Wukong or Ranveer. When you use those, you're completely negating what it is that he does because those actually have a higher maximum out and it, it negates the fact of Tarlac completely and essentially you're just using him to gain life so don't use Tarlac and Wukong together it's not gonna work you when you are stacking a hero like Curl is gonna stack with him or a hero like Bold Tusk those heroes do stack with him it's going to add additional attack power and it's gonna increase it so that's important to notate so when you're using him you could actually use him in any section against the Titans. He could be at your first slot. He can be at your last slot. It doesn't really matter because the only thing that he impacts is going to be the actual tile damage. So the reason why he's so important and so good on Titans is because you can literally bring this hero on every single Titan. Me personally, I use him on every Titan except for yellow Titans. And that's just because my yellow Titan is weird. My yellow Titan stack is weird. So I use Ranveer instead. But he's an absolute monster. He's a very contributing key in getting high Titan scores. Because when you're getting high Titan scores, you're only focusing on how do you impact the board to make it so your tile damage deals the most amount. And he is incredibly good for that. He doesn't mess with the whole missing factor like Ranveer Wukong. So he's an absolute all-star on Titans. That's why he has the A plus grade there. Now when we take a look at what he does on offense, he does get a B plus grade. I did use him a little bit on offense when he first came out, but ultimately I found that he was definitely underwhelming. It is cool to get the 100% normal attack power up, 
The health generation definitely does help out quite a bit, but overall, I'm not really too stoked on using him on offense. Not the greatest of heroes. When we take a look at what he does on defense, he's going to get a B- minus as far as the tank goes. Reason being is he doesn't really have a lot of tank abilities. As far as his statistics as well, they're not that great for defense. I'm not too stoked on him. And essentially, he just dies. As soon as he gives the attack power up, you are generating some health over some turns for your other heroes, but ultimately not a great hero to be using as a tank. Look at his flank grade. He does get a B grade there because you do have some usability on him. He is hitting all of your heroes at average speed. You could impact the board. You're also not planning for him. So you might be able to use him. When we look at his wing grade, he's going to get a C grade there. Reason being is most of your heroes are probably dead by then. You're not dealing any damage and you're just deep in your water and you're probably going to die real quick. So don't put him in the wing. So overall, as far as his defensive grade, he's going to get a B grade there. When we look at his weekly raid grade, he's going to get a B on rush attack. Mostly because there's a lot of other heroes that work really, really well at very fast speed. He does help out quite a bit, but I'm not too stoked on him there. When we look at his buff grade, he's going to get a B grade. He does impact the board with 100% normal attack for 4 turns. So that is a fact you could potentially pair him with some other heroes. Could maybe flex up to a B plus grade instead of a B, but I'm not too stoked on him. When we look at his bloody battle grade, he's going to get a C grade there, obviously because... The only thing that he's doing at that point is just setting it up so you have high attack and you're not going to be able to regenerate any health. Don't use him on bloody battle, he's going to get a C grade. He is going to get an overall grade of a B plus and this definitely is mostly impacted by his titan grade. He is an essential important hero to be using on titans. If you don't have a hero like Miki, he's definitely going to be a really great hero to be using. So overall, I absolutely love Tarlac. I use Tarlac every single day against the Titans. So that's why he's an amazing hero. I appreciate you watching the content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and I will see you on the next video. All allies regenerate 324...